right, are we live? Hey there, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my first ever YouTube tutorial video. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because a lot of people have seen my overlay and they've asked me, you know, how to create an overlay themselves and how to, you know, get all that stuff done. So what I'm going to teach you guys in this little tutorial video is how you can have an overlay like mine um, through Rainmaker. In fact, I am just using the basic stuff because I think it fits with my robot vibe, but that's beside the point. Let's actually get straight into it. I'm going to teach you how to do this in under 15 minutes. All right. It's going to be real fast and I'll teach you guys more about customization in another tutorial. All right. So this is going to be the first one. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is so let's go to, let's transition to a different scene. All right. So this is going to be my teaching window. Okay, great. So what I've done is I've set up an edit scene here. Now, how do you get to this? First of all, you've got to log into Rainmaker. So how do you get to Rainmaker? Rainmaker.gg. All right, log in with your Twitch account. All right, it's very easy. Once you've done that, all right, you should end up uh, somewhere on this dashboard. All right, so you've connected with everything and whatever you need to do. Then you go to overlay. Okay, so after clicking on overlay, you end up at this screen. Now this won't be here. Okay, so I've got my two gaming scenes here, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to start things off. So you start with creating a new overlay. You can just name it test or whatever you wanna do. I name it test because obviously I'm showing you how this works, but you can name it whatever you want. Like you see, I've got chatting and creativity gaming and uh, th that you know refers to what you will see here. So this is my gaming setup. It's to Asian Roboto, there you go. This is my gaming setup. So it's set up slightly differently to the uh, chatting side and, and that, that all you know helps to just make things much better. Anyway, now we're heading over to the uh, creation screen. So go into the overlay you've created and it will be blank. All right. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up your overlay. I'm going to teach you how to do the basics and then you can arrange it however you want. All right. Like I said, the goal is to get this done in under 15 minutes. So we're going to do that right off the bat really fast. I'm going to go through each of the features that are here and that'll show you how that works. So first, let me quickly remove cam for a second. Okay. Let's start with events. Okay. Events is a very helpful little bar. You see, once you click on events, do you remember where you saw it? Okay. You've introduced events. Now events will show you basically like you can, you can mess around with the colors of the events and stuff like that. If you so choose. Okay, you don't have to, don't have to. It, it's about what works for you on your, um, on your overlay, all right? So this is all the customization that is available to you. You can use this, work with this, do whatever you want with this, okay? It's up to you, it's up to you, okay? But basically it just shows you when events occur. So you get a host, you get a tip, you get a cheer shows up here. So, it's, so you can have a nice little ho uh, event bar there. Okay. Next, let me remove camera again. We're going to teach you about goals. Goals are fun. Okay. These are awesome. Now goals are set up in a slightly different way. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your statistics here. Now I've already got some here that have been created beforehand, but we're going to add a goal. Okay. We're going to add a goal. And you don't want synced, you want custom. Now you can have synced if you want, if you want, but that'll sync it to a particular statistic. So like, let's say you've already got like 10 subs that month. If you put synced, it'll always start at 10. But what if your goal is to get five new subs? That's when you can work with custom, all right? Custom is easier to, to handle. I, I prefer custom. So let's go to subscribers, custom, all right? The name is Booty Booty Shaka. Okay, and the current, and you can just set a target of maybe 10, maybe you want 10 for this event. So, you, okay, let's call it Subathon then. Wow, this is for me never having done a Subathon. I can't even spell it. Subathon. Yeah, there we go. You can have something like that, right? Current value zero. You save this goal, and it will appear like that. Okay, so now that it appears like that, once again, you can actually customize it by adding a, a image to it if you want. That's, that's via the upload. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm not going to put in anything. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just put in a GIF? Okay. The, the GIF is not working, but I'll tell you what, let me just add an image instead. Okay. So if I were to add an image, will it show up? Yeah. So the image will appear behind there. 
So you can set it up with so many interesting ways and you can just change the text color formatting. So if you want to have it red and maybe a different font, like um, if you want something like Oswald, and Roboto Mono. You can have progress color in whatever way you want. So it's pretty cool, um, the kind of things that you can do with it. So yeah, maybe green something that looks good you know it's up to you it's up to you how you select your background image and what you want to do with it so that's how you set up a goal okay you can have as many goals as you like i've got my russian booty dance for bits you know gaming keyboard mouse hype you can change the title of the goal at any time if you want you know you can go in say gaming keyboard mouse blah 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 this kind of thing i'm actually going to change my goals for tonight so in fact you know what? let's do it early um uh, set at 30 and a current value of zero. Okay, we saved the goal. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we add that as a new goal. So, yeah, sorry, turn off cam. So I just added that that new. I just uh, changed that active goal, right? So no active goal. You go here. You set it to. I was saying for your spare change, and it will automatically pop up like that. See. So here you go. You got your little subathon. I was saying for your spare change, something like that. You can, you can just set things up like that, have as many goals as you want, arrange the windows, so you can resize them, you know, if you think they're too big, you know, um, something like that. It's, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it, all right? So this is what I like about Rainmaker. It's very good customization. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm just going to leave this ugliness here, <laughs> all right? So, so you can do something like that, all right? And the next thing I'm going to show you about is the banners i like banners so now you might be tempted to just keep the default banner i did initially but what i'm going to show you is that you can actually add some cool stuff to it so i'll show you the latest tips top tippers latest followers whatever you can add a new one and under the type all right this is where you can choose. You can have your latest tweets, you can have your latest raids, you can have your latest cheers, top cheerers, whatever you want, latest donations to charity. Rainmaker is very customizable, so I really like it. And you can add and subtract however much you want to it. So let's put, instead of latest tips, let's put latest subscribers. And it will just fade in and out and just constantly, you know, like show you latest tips. Then after a while, it'll say weekly top tippers, and it will constantly change during the stream. So it's actually really cool to see that. I I enjoy my banners personally, so I customize them all into one. Um, that way, there's always some activity going on, and it's pretty cool. Now you can do some other stuff with the customization too. Um, you can create how many is shown. All right, you can choose your all time this week, this month, this year. You know that's also pretty cool. The style. You, you can have it scrolling across as well. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I do like it, you know. No recent tippers, things like that. And then uh, you can have it as this week to sort of limit it. You know, something like that. You can, you can do all that and it's pretty cool. But you have to do it for each one. So again, you know, Mac shown for you. You can have show all. Let's, let's try that. Yep. And it'll just go across like that. See, pretty cool. Okay, I like the banners. Banners are nice. Next, I'm going to teach you about alerts. What are alerts? Very simple. Alerts will basically pop up every time an event occurs. You can choose which event you want. Follow, tip, subscription. But remember this. You need to add a sound alert if you want it to have a sound. So I'm going to add that right now. Um, let's put in one of my own sound alerts. Now, I design sound alerts. So for those of you that are interested, I do sell them. And we'll be working on the pre-made packs very soon. But let's, uh, let's just go straight with the experimental pack. We'll have a possessed follow sound. So when this alert is triggered, okay... You can choose to test the alert here. So editor sounds unmuted, but we're going to unmute them, right? So let's test it. Follow alert. We've just added a sound, yeah? Yes. Another one has followed you into the darkness. So that is the sound that you'll hear. Once again, if you need sound alerts, I do them all on Fiverr. 
So you would just get your follower pop up here, the sound will play, and that's alerts. Now, next thing is chat. Chat is very simple. Just install it somewhere so that if somebody were to type into your Twitch, and let's, let's quickly visit my Twitch channel. So I've got another window opened up here. All right, we're just gonna quickly visit my Twitch channel. <laughs> And we'll add in honk. It'll show up there. You see? You see how that works? So if I were to type in my Tuscan Raider command. Oh yeah, it's not set up here. <laughs> Forgot. But anyway, yeah. Um, so basically your commands, whatever, will all show up here. Same if your people were chatting or whatever. It'll all just show up there. So chat is useful. Now, there's one downside. You can select the font but not the size. So please be aware of that. You cannot select the size. You can have a user blacklist, by the way. It, it just won't show their chat. You can, if you've got multiple platforms, you can connect them all here. Um, you can show the chat for however long you want, okay? You can show the platform icon, show message username in separate directions. You can set the transparency of the chat if you don't want it like 110% visible. We can change the background color of the chat. You can also alter the chat um, text color if you so choose. But the settings itself will show you that moderators are in different colors. Subscribers, for me, I put subscribers in gold, so something like that. So if a subscriber talks, they'll show up in gold. Plain and simple. But again, what I want to caution you about is that you cannot set the size, which is very unfortunate because, as you can see, the size is quite large. Honk. So if, if messages are long, it can take up the whole window. I'm just saying that. So just do be careful of keeping the chat on too long. Um, I usually just set it for eight seconds and just let it go like that, okay? And last but not least, okay, because text, video, image, I don't think you need a lesson on this. All right, text, video, image is fucking straightforward. You can add in any image you want. I'll just show you as an example. Um, just upload the image here, okay? Let's put on a GIF. See if it'll work. This is the way, yeah. See, and it'll just permanently be there. Okay, so you got your little Mandalorian in the corner. Again, you don't need a lesson on text, video, image. If you really want a lesson on that with text, okay? Content. Misa bomb bad streamer. And that will just display permanently up there. Okay? And last but not least, I'm going to teach you about triggers. These are the most fun that you will have. Okay? I'm going to take a little longer on this explanation. So I said I was going to do it in under 15 minutes, but fuck it. You'll love the trigger description. So let's add Tuscan in, right? And the trigger will be Tuscan. Okay? Point cost, you can set it to have a channel point cost if you so choose. I will set it for a channel point cost of one. Uh, usually I'll put a cooldown in because you don't want people to be able to spam it. Um, image duration, I'll set it as eight. Roll access all. Now you can set it to subscribers only, but that one has a bit of an issue right now. I don't know why, like some of my subscribers weren't able to access it, so I just set it to all. Okay, first you, get, you can add a sound. So let's go to my sound alerts which i designed because them just that cute all right tuscan raiders yeah let's add that in then we will upload um one of the gifs for it i can't remember which one it is it should be this so i didn't name them when i was creating them myself i just yeah yeah it is it is okay so now i'm sure you want to see this overlay in action so Let's actually add it to this, okay? So, to show you how to add it, sorry. Copy the URL, click to copy, okay? Do you see that? Overlay URL copy, just add it. Whether it's Streamlabs OBS or using XSplit like me, just add the web page, okay? Well, once you disable that, see? This thing, this thing shows up. And if you were, like, I know you can't see it, but okay, actually you can't. If I were to move the Mandalorian somewhere here, you can see him move on your actual um, screen. 
So it's very easy to customize in that way if you need to adjust something. So let's remove this just because I want to show you the Tuscan Raider. So here we go. Voila. And you know, like you can adjust the chat window. So earlier at the chat, the chat window was coming up over, over my head. So let's let's uh, tr move it a little bit. Let's try test try test. Blah. Typing honk. See now honk appears above my head. So previously it was over my face. Now it appears above my head. You can just adjust it in the window itself. So all I did was just move it up here like slightly, like so. If I do that, and you know I do it again slightly higher above my head so ladies and gents that is done in 15 minutes you have basically done up a overlay all right now if you really want to make it special you can take longer than 15 minutes it's up to you but if you like what i do and you want to see more tutorials don't forget to like share and subscribe leave a comment on what kind of tutorial you want to see from me and i'll happily do like tutorials on commands things like that all right so I hope you'll enjoy Rainmaker GG and I hope you'll enjoy the overlays that are designed here because they are quite fantastic and very customizable. Look forward to upgrades of my overlays and don't forget you can catch me on Twitch almost every night. All right, like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you all on the next one.